Welcome to another screencast about using Grand.org. This time I will talk about the initial MIDI configurations you can make. This feature has recently been reworked, so you will have to have a fairly recent version number to see what I see. You find it in the Audi MIDI settings, the initial MIDI configuration tab. And here you have certain elements in a list that you can connect uh, to buttons or keyboards on your console. And if the sample set creator has made the right connections in, uh, in the ODF, it will be automatically connected correctly uh, at the first load. So I will show you how to connect the different elements and I will use the one I normally use on my console. It might differ from yours of course. Anyway, you select the element row you wish to configure and click the properties button. Select listen for event, play a note or button and it will be registered and you click OK and you see that it's set now. And then it's just to do the same with the manuals. The manual 1 is the lowest manual normally. Select and set it. And then for the next manual the third and that's as many as I have so I will now configure the swell pedals uh, in the exactly the same way and the stepping forward or backward this is the previous done. Just the same, only this time it's a button. Okay. And the next. It's another. And the set button. And I will set the general console also. Okay. And then I will take a few other um, that's easy to use for me. Uh, and I will show you later. So this is the zero. And the beauty of this is that you can do this once and then you'll have it set um, for all sets you load. So you won't need to do all the configurations for every single sample set. Okay, so now I'm finished, so I click OK and we will test it with a sample set and we pull some stops and play the manual. Seems to be working, the pedal works too. And the expression pedal seems to be working as it should. 
and now we will try um, to store this in the combination so I use the set button like this and then I will put it on the zero uh, that I did earlier so I push zero and now it should be set there so we take another combination and put it on the next uh, and then I can use the set button and the next combination button or I could set it on the one of course but um, sometimes it's necessarily necessary to use the next uh, when you switch from 9 to 10 and so on if you don't have the plus 10 or minus 10 button sets um, which I don't have so I use the next button and you'll see and now they are set so if I move back to the zero I have the first combination and if I push forward I have the next combination set so that's how it works occasionally you will find that this doesn't work as it should for instance um, some elements don't play correctly I will show you uh, from um, the org just an example this you can find in many sample sets actually including some of my own and you'll find that um, the manuals work fine this is the lowest this is the next and the pedal works too but if I try to move the expression pedal you will see that it's not working really and this is because the in the ODF the enclosure is set to MIDI input number 3 and that is enclosure 3 in uh, the initial tab and I don't have that set of course so an um, ODF creator should uh, label the enclosures with MIDI input numbers the same as the enclosure number really um, the first should have one and the second two just like uh, in the manuals and pedals you have MIDI input number one for the pedal MIDI input number two for the first manual three for the second and so on this is explained in the help section uh, in the format so you can read about it there if you're interested otherwise you can always manually configure this um, to be set to the correct element as normally on the screen and then save it and it will work so have fun with this thanks for watching